All right, guys, just want to do a quick little video, show you what I'm flying, what I'm flying with. Uh, it's it kind of like an unboxing, but not really, because it's already been unboxed. I've already used it all, I've already flown it, already wrecked it. But anyways, just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I'm using and what you can expect to get with these items. So the first thing I'll talk about is the quadcopter itself. And I'm uh, flying a Blade 200 QX. It's made by Horizon Hobby. As far as I know, the 200 only comes in the bind and fly. I could be wrong. They might have it ready to fly now, but I went ahead and got the bind and fly. So the first thing you're going to see when you open up the box is the manuals. Uh, it comes with a it's a pretty decent manual. It actually doesn't tell you some things that I wish it did, uh, but it's most of the stuff's pretty easy to figure out on your own. Uh, it comes in large variety of languages, so only a small part of this manual is actually in English. Uh, but like I said, it tells you pretty much what you need to know. Uh, not sure what this is. Looks like some safety information. Yeah, this is for the battery. It just tells you how to handle that lithium ion battery. So that's good. And then it also comes with this transmitter setup table. And it's basically going to tell you uh, what settings your transmitter needs to be on uh, to bind and to fly this 200 QX. So that's pretty handy. Uh, the next thing you'll know is this nice foam insert. It says Blade 200 QX on the top here. You take the top off and the body was sitting down in here. One thing that would have been nice is if they just made this box a little bit bigger uh, where you could store it with the landing gear on it and then you could carry all your stuff around in this box not have to purchase anything else. Unless you're, you know, traveling with one, you, you probably want to get a hard case box. But just for going out to the park or something, this would have been a nice box. Unfortunately, it won't fit with the landing gear on. And I even was going to try and, and cut this out where I could just drop it down in there with the landing gear on. But unfortunately, it's probably hard to tell here, but it'd still be too tall to fit in this box and to be able to close it. So that's kind of unfortunate, but oh well can't get everything it also comes with a another complete set of props as you can see I've already had to change out a couple of them that's one that I bent up pretty good there so that's nice you get a, a complete set of four props two front two back and those are color-coded and I, I think those are pretty inexpensive if you have to uh, purchase more you also get this nice little bag of tools here I've just got my receipts in here also. If I can get them out of here, let's get that out of the way. And it comes with two Allen keys and this uh, little wrench tool. The Allen keys, there's a bigger one bigger one, larger one here, that's used for putting the uh, landing gear on. And it's just those two uh, bolts there that hold the landing gear on. And then it has this smaller one that's for... Uh, these on the body in case you need to take the body apart and get to any of the insides or replace the body or something and then this wrench here has a smaller end that's used for taking the props off and a larger end that's used for taking the motors off so it comes with everything you need there as far as, as doing any kind of maintenance to the quadcopter itself it also comes with the charger and one lithium ion battery the charger fits nicely right down in here. It's got two slots for batteries. Unfortunately, it only does come with one battery. I purchased another one. Uh, I'm probably going to be purchasing two more. You do they, they say you get about five to seven minutes of flight time per battery. And that seems, I haven't actually timed it, that seems about accurate. Uh, the problem is, they say it takes about an hour to charge. Uh, for me, it seems like it's closer to an hour and a half, if not a little bit longer to charge. So it's quite a quite a bit of charge time versus fly time uh, but it is what it is I'm gonna get a couple more batteries that way when I go out I can play with it for a little bit longer um, and that's basically what it comes with I was also going to show you what I paid for it uh, I don't know if you can see that the helicopter itself was 230 or the quadcopter $20 for a battery and 60 for the transmitter which I'm about to show you so uh, if you're wanting to get started with the 200 QX 
there may be uh, cheaper ways to get this. You might be able to get a little bit less expensive on Amazon or something, some of these items. But I wanted to support my local hobby shop, so I went ahead and just bought everything there. So that's everything that comes with the blade. So let me get this out of the way and we'll go over the transmitter. So my, for my transmitter, I didn't need anything fancy. So I just got the most inexpensive one I could, which is this Spectrum DX 5E. Uh, I don't know much about these. I know I've seen some pretty fancy ones. Uh, I don't know what they can do versus what this can do. But this has everything you need to fly the blade. So here's the transmitter itself. I'm not going to open up the box. All that's in there is a is a manual. <clears throat> and it's fairly simple to uh, bind it. Once you bind it, you really don't need that manual for anything. So just kind of going over this transmitter a little bit. It's got... It runs off of four AA batteries. I'm just using the ones that it came with right now. Uh, to bind it, all you do is turn on the quadcopter. You hold this switch up while that's powering up. You'll hear a beep. You'll let go of the switch, and then it's bound. So it's really pretty simple. There's not much to it. Uh, as far as changing the three modes on the quadcopter, uh, the zero right here, I don't know if you can see that, but that zero is your low uh, angle stability mode one or the middle switch is going to be your high angle stability and that third switch is going to be your agility mode so and that's fairly simple and, and the quadcopter actually changes colors the LEDs based on which mode you're in we also have a high low rate over here I've seen some people say that they can tell the difference in the high and low rate I myself I can't I haven't really noticed any difference uh, but you have that. Um, I've also seen some people, uh, the way they tell you to start it is to come to the bottom inside and release. Uh, that's worked just fine for me. I haven't had any problems with that. Some people have had problems with that, but uh, for me, that's worked just fine. Uh, now, what, the way, and I just kind of figured this out on my own, on accident, but they don't tell you how to stop the props. And there's no prop kill switch on this transmitter. I know some of them do have that, but there's none on this. So I figured out uh, if you just hit your trim button down five times, that's going to stop your props. Uh, the only thing you got to keep in mind is to start it again, you got to go back up five times. And there will be a, an audible beep when you get hit that fifth uh, push each direction. So you'll know when you're there and then you'll be able to start it and, and take off just fine. So as far as transmitters go, this one works just fine with the blade. Doesn't have any uh, extra stuff that you may not need. Uh, and I don't know what all this stuff is. I don't use, ever use any of these other trim buttons, uh, but it works just fine for flying my blade. So anyway, that's what I got. That's what I'm flying with. If you have any questions on any of that, feel free to ask and I'll answer to the best of my ability. Uh, this thing's a lot of fun. If you're thinking about getting into it or just curious about how much it costs to get started with a basic setup. Hopefully this video helped and uh, hopefully I'll be getting some more videos up soon. Thanks.